Hello there, YouTubers, and welcome to another episode of Dr. Cassette's Workshop. Today we're going to see why we have been experimenting with that tube-type radio thing in the last video. I already told you I was wanting to test tubes, and we have tested tubes successfully, so I was able to build this. This is an ECC82, or 12AU7, based preamplifier. It's really nothing spectacular. As you can see right here I have the schematic. This came out of the internet, and this is actually the schematic of the Dynavox TPR2. It's a tube type preamplifier, or well, it's a preamplifier with one tube in it to give it some uh, tube type sound. It is commercially available, it's one of these Chinese pieces of tube type audio equipment. And this is basically the heart of the whole thing. As you can see we got the two triodes, which are of course integrated into just one tube. And got one triode per channel. So there is one channel and yes it really doesn't get any easier than this. I guess. I really don't know much about uh, tubes and uh, tube technology. I'm just starting to learn about it. So there we have the amplifier part. As you can see, the anode voltage, of course, that's got to be a high voltage. And uh, since, of course, high voltage transformers are not readily available for cheap money on the Chinese market, they use the 24 volt AC transformer. They're just feeding this voltage doubler with that and then it goes into this um, circuit right here. It's a classic uh, stabilizer circuit that should, with these two Zener diodes, 30 volt Zener diodes in series, it should output 60 volts worth of anode voltage. That goes up there and then we have this right here, 6 volts uh, for heating, for the heaters just uses a 7806 uh, chip. So anyway, uh, this right here is based on that circuit with some changes. Uh, as you can see, I have... Uh, I found this piece of um, old 1960s uh, board. Um, I know it has a specific name, but it, you know, it just gives you these, uh, these connectors on it and it had just this uh, wide strip in between. So I drilled a hole into that and I was able to mount the tube socket, so that gives me quite a brilliant uh, quite a brilliant uh, setup right there. As you can see we got the tube, we got the uh, strips at the side, we got all the, uh, all the components mounted in between. So uh, that is good. We got, uh, well, for the heater at the moment, since I don't have a 786, 7806, that is, a voltage regulator at the moment, I just uh, have this hooked up to the laboratory power supply, which is adjusted to 6 volts, as you can no doubt see. And then, for the anode voltage, well, I didn't have to go with that uh, stupid uh, voltage doubler circuit. Found this transformer right here that has a winding that'll output 44 volts and if you rectify that there is the rectifier and we got a high voltage capacitor underneath if you rectify it and put it through the capacitor you'll end up with a whopping 61 volts of DC that goes into this it's just a little breadboard circuit and just, uh, well, it's a simple voltage stabilizer circuit, essentially the same as it is on here from this point on. So, this thing, uh, now I didn't go with the, uh, with 60 volts, because if we only got 61 volts coming out of the capacitor, it's just not enough headroom. So I went with a set of Zener diodes, 27 volt Zener diodes in series to give me 54 volts, at least in theory. Out of the transistor right there, it's a little BD type power transistor down there, I am getting, I think, 57 volts. So we got 57 volts of a nicely regulated anode voltage going into this. 
And now you may say, well, turn it on, turn it on, give it a demonstration. Well, it's already turned on, would you believe it? It is silent, which is absolutely brilliant. So definitely our uh, regulator does work. Hooked up to this, uh, we have, there is the inputs, we have the uh, CD player right there, and the output is right there. Not using any shielded wires yet, so maybe if I do that, it's going to get even more silent. That would be nice, but up there we have this uh, simple amplifier, test amplifier. It's hooked up to the Bang & Olufsen speakers behind it there, and... Uh, if the camera was only going to focus on those. There we go. And now, without any further ado, let's uh, unpause the CD player, give it a quick listen. That should be enough of a quick test. As you can hear, it does work, it does sound good, and I will have to say it does sound different. And admittedly, I don't have the right kind of music in the workshop at the moment to uh, test a tube amplifier, and I guess this uh, Eurodance music that you've just heard, uh, that's just not, not the right kind of thing to go through a tube amplifier. I will admit that, but it sounds good. But I will have to say, it, does, it really does depend on the tube. What we are using right now, what we have in here right now, is the, uh, the Ultron tube. There it is. And uh, I previously also tested the uh, cheap Chinese one that I have, that came with that tube type radio. Uh, there it is. And this one, uh, this is not only an amplifier, this tube, this is also a high-pass filter because the bass response with that tube was very, very, very bad. So, it's definitely a good thing that I uh, chose this design right here. I also had one that would have been a bit more fancy that would have used two ECC-82s, and I was like, well, you do have two working ECC-82s, so you could build that as well. I would have used uh, two triodes per channel. But it's a good thing I went with this one, because uh, now we have the two triodes integrated into one tube, meaning we're going to get the same characteristics for each channel, because these, uh, obviously, the two triodes in this thing are going to be pretty well matched, if not identical. Because, uh, you know, if I if I would have gone with the with a two tube uh, setup, I would have had one channel with very weak bass and the other channel with uh, relatively good bass. So it would have sounded all different and all, you know, not identical, not uh, not stereo. Thank you for watching and see you again soon.